Leo, this is going to be a hot moment for you. Everybody, well, three people want you. Two of your exes, and then there's a new person. Literally, each column, this is one person, this is an ex, this is a new person, and this is another ex. And it's just like, where do I even begin? Okay, so your center, wow. All of you guys, so far. Love. It's crazy, like the past two videos. And this isn't even supposed to be, well, I guess because it is a general reading, it can be a love reading, but I like to do the love readings separate, but they want to talk about this. Okay, Leo, this is your center energy, okay? Hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Starcy Zayed. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a reading for you guys. This is for September 2021. And it is a general reading, so anything goes. Okay, this could be relationships, could be new work. It could be a certain situation arising for you guys in the month of September. So certain things may not resonate. That's okay. Take what resonates and leave everything else behind. Energies are interchangeable and timelines are changing very rapidly uh, this time around. Okay, the energy is really intense as of late. So we'll see what the cards say and we'll go from there. So I want to start with this deck and then we'll move on to other tarot decks. I would advise everybody to please read the disclaimer in the description box below. And for a personal reading, you can check the link tree link in the description box below as well. Okay, so your center... Wow. All of you guys, so far. Love. It's crazy. Like, the past two videos. And this isn't even supposed to be... Well, I guess because it is a general reading. It can be a love reading. But I like to do the love readings separate. But they want to talk about this. Okay, Leo. This is your center energy, okay? So this is the overall theme for the month. Now, you have the Knight, the knight of Cups there. So it could be somebody approaching you, or this could just be you giving yourself the love that you've always deserved. So we're going to see what the rest of the cards say. Hopefully this is not a previous person. Okay. fighting with me so i had to edit that out come on now don't be shy four pentacles queen of swords and ten of wands it feels to me like there's two individuals here leo Two individuals. Two individuals. Two individuals. This is really... Um, I just want... Two more cards and then... Wow. Okay, I guess... They don't want to talk about anything else, Leo. So I guess we will have to talk about it. You have two past people from your past looking at you two exes is there somebody new for leo please okay universe does want to offer you something oh okay okay um leo this is gonna be a hot moment for you everybody well three people want you two of your exes and then there's a new person literally each column this is one person, this is an ex, this is a new person, and this is another ex. And it's just like, where do I even begin? I guess we'll talk about the exes and then we'll save the best for last, because more than likely, you Leos are not going to want to get back with somebody from your past. And I mean, we see it here. Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Sun in Reverse. So this was not a good relationship, and you walked away from that. You ran. You ran. This person really wanted... I, I feel like they were clinging so tightly to you, Leo, and they didn't want you to, like... Like, they, their, their fear was you leaving them. And it's like, 
they they brought it upon themselves they made that a reality literally because you you leave them like they're just holding on so tightly to you and it's like you have no space to breathe to be you literally this is your card leo this past person so yeah i, I don't see you guys getting back with this person at all but this person is still gonna try to shoot their shots okay they are this ex over here they're gonna try to shoot their shots the cards are also talking about them so they're making their way towards you they want you back okay they're not ready to let go they're not ready to let go they're not ready to change either and with the sun in reverse there this is all about power and control for them it really is it's just to go back to the same shit basically it could be another leo that uh you know this person could be another leo that you were dealing with so then over here you have this ex who again was just was just awful like you you were just overburdened with this person okay it was just too much too much yeah they're just sitting there pretty they're just chilling there literally it's crazy to me this this energy over here, this person seems very, very, uh, not, not good. Not good at all. They just seem really controlling, is what I get from this, this individual. And this, like, this X over here, okay, so you have... Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Ten of Wands. It, it feels like they have a lot of expectations for you. Like, they expect certain things if they're in a relationship with you. And it was just such a burden to be with this person. I mean, you have the Queen of Swords and the Empress, so it's just a really controlling energy. Um, this person really sees themselves as a, a, some sort of higher human they really think that they are the shit you know i said a previous person but i feel like this could be a family member that you cut off that you removed yourself from so for some of you that could be the case okay i'm getting the name uh, the name jane i'm getting the name jane so for some of you this might be your sign also i'm itching my hair right now my hair uh, well, my scalp just got a little itchy, so if your scalp gets itchy, or you're brushing your hair, or you're doing something with your hair, or you have something planned with your hair, then maybe this is a sign, this is your reading. So, you have two people from the past here. I Honestly, I really feel like for most of you, this, for... for for all my Leos watching, this is an X over here, but for some of you, this could be a family member. But for most of you, it's going to be an X as well. So in the center, Leo, right when you're down and out, Spirit brings somebody to you. You see, you see the fourth cups? It's like, we're, you know, we're focusing on what we don't have and how crappy things kind of are. And man, if we just had some luck, you know, you see, he's looking at the cups. The cups are empty. You know, we're not feeling emotionally fulfilled, and you might feel that way towards the beginning of September. But it looks like the third or fourth week, it's it's kind of like, surprise, Leo. Surprise. Somebody's here. Universe is really happy. Universe is, like, super full of joy in seeing this sacred union come about. This is a new person, Leo new person you don't know this person i feel like a lot of you are gonna meet them at the gym i'm just saying i'm getting the gym but it could be at a, a family gathering or a school gathering 
okay, a uh, house party. Yeah, it just feels so sudden. Like, it just... It, it really does. With the Four of Cups there. But even looking at the other cards, and when I got... When, you know, because this is the first card that came out for you, Leo. And when I got it, I... You know, I just wanted to see what the other cards had to say because... Initially, what I thought was, this feels like it's gonna come out of nowhere. Like, it really is gonna be sudden. And with the Four of Cups there, literally a cup popping out of the clouds. Like, this is something only God foresees. You know, he knows the exact time, the exact day, the exact hour. It's basically divine timing. You two coming together. It feels to me like this person could be Sagittarius or Capricorn. Um... They could also have the various water signs in their placements. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And... You know, this person, they see you like a god or like a goddess. They really do. It's strange, the energy I'm getting. Um, let's draw more cards from the the pocket edition because I'm getting this energy I just want to make sure before I speak it's not a bad energy but it is one that I just I just want to get a little bit more clarity okay we have something in reverse okay six of wands in reverse um six of wands in reverse why spirit why ace of swords Okay, yeah, you guys are really different. There, There's, the physical attraction is there, okay? But you guys are so different. And this could cause a lot of issues. Because you guys just have very, very different perspectives, okay? Ace of Swords, we're looking at the mind. We're looking at how somebody thinks, how somebody operates, okay? Because how somebody thinks is basically going to be the precursor for how they operate and how they go about things in their daily life and there could be a lot of clashing over this okay this person like they see you as a god or as a goddess right and they have the hots for you and i feel like you're going to be super attracted to them too but at the same time you guys are really really different like you guys are really different from each other um which is not a bad thing, right? So opposites attract. But again, this could break the relationship. So this, I feel like this is a real life lesson for you two to look past your differences all in the name of love. And it's not, it's not that, uh, you know, your differences are bad. You're just very different people from different walks of life. Okay, I don't think... You know what I feel, Leo? This person, um, is, they, they grew up a little bit more privileged than you, I feel. They, they, I, I feel they didn't really, um, I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to say these types of things, but we do have to be brutally honest. Certain people grow up in, a, in much better situations than, than others. Um, I, I don't want to sugarcoat this, but I feel like this person grew up in a much better situation than yours. Um, I do feel like they had a lot of financial support from family members, whereas you might have not really received that much financial support or aid or assistance in terms of school or just flat out learning how to be a human. Okay, I feel like some parents really fail terribly uh, at this job in, in raising us to be an actual human with feelings and, and navigating these feelings in a healthy, loving manner. Um, you know, and especially if you grew up in a family where there were issues with boundaries, right? You know, even here we see a family member for some of you that is really all about control and authority. So, and you know, for some of you, this could be an ex and then this is an ex as well. So we're seeing this pattern of like control and authority for you. So 
it's possible that there there was a lot of that in your family relationships it might not have been noticeable it might have been covert okay you might not have noticed these things but i digress let me get back to the point at hand this person they were just a lot more privileged when it came to growing up and the family that raised them so you're it's just very very different mindsets coming together okay we're not going to pay attention to the exes or this past family member okay that's finished my focus now is on this person okay and how we can navigate this relationship because you two are you're so so different from each other it's the truth you really are um i feel like this person was popular in school whereas you were kind of the you know the weird dude the weird girl the weird chick you know you were kind of a loner you didn't really you know you you i don't know i don't know it, it just it feels like such a different reality it's like one of those love stories or you know the weird chick gets with the popular high school jock you know those tradition look i don't want to put labels but i'm just using for reference you know that's the example i'm getting here oh yeah you and the ex okay they wanted to talk about that because i feel some of you are considering the ex some of you watching this are considering the ex some of you watching this are considering uh opening communication with this family member over here and they're trying to warn they're trying to warn they're trying to say don't go back to these past people leo don't go back okay this is a warning you have the literally the five of swords and the five of wands that's all confrontation literally that's all confrontation but what they're also trying to say here is if you and this new person can't put your differences aside there's going to be a lot of arguing and then a split up so you have to both be mature and be able to communicate. It's a lot of sword energy, okay? And that's all about communication. It's also about the mind, but it's also about communication and how we are putting ourselves out there and what we are saying. And, you know, this person really holds themselves highly. And they expect you to hold yourself and view yourself highly as well, Leo. So they're going to notice if you don't. I feel like they're also very, very confident. And they're going to be watching your body language and how you speak and how you maneuver on this physical plane. Because they want somebody next to them that can hold their ground, okay? They don't want to babysit okay they they want to be dating another adult okay just i just have to say this you know if if you don't like doing laundry vacuuming cleaning you know you don't like cooking you don't like you know managing your finances okay this person is all about self-improvement self-care and being the best version of themselves and showing up like that every single day. So if you're not really into that sort of thing, this isn't going to work. Now, despite all the differences, you guys are going to have a good time. Yeah, there, there's a lot of differences, but look, you have... There's so many differences between you and this person, but you have the Ten of Cups there. So if you guys look past your differences, it really can be this beautiful love story and a huge huge success you know by embracing your differences and learning from each other yeah eight of wands eight of wands it's gonna go so fast you see there's differences but also it kind of balances out because the attraction is off the charts between the two of you super attractive attracted to each other so in terms of intimacy and affection and flirting that's not going to take too long it's the getting to know each other and seeing how different 
the both of you are, that can be a deal breaker. So you have to look past your differences in the name of love. You have to look past your differences because this is giving twin flame energy. If you're able to look past your differences, you know, you have the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups. Judgment. And one more spirit. These small, these small cards are difficult to shuffle. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. We have Judgment and the Five of Cups. So, okay. The, the past people are coming back. Full force, they are going to... Unfortunately, they want me to talk about this. These past people, whoever they are, they are coming back full force. And they're going to position themselves in front of you to the point where you are going to have to flat out tell them no i don't want you you're you're it feels to me like there's an avoiding of some sort of uh not confrontation but just reconnecting with this person on any level like having to actually see them having to actually speak to them but they're not going to give you a choice i feel like they're they might show up to your workplace okay they might uh ask family members or friends for you they might get a mutual friend to pull you up on FaceTime, okay? It's just these two individuals really are are looking to get back to you, Leo. They really are looking to control and have power over you. And you rejecting and refusing them is going to cause them a lot of inner turmoil, a lot of stress, a lot of sadness... But at the end of the day, it's not your issue, and you really shouldn't feel guilty. So we're going to move on from that because they seem crazy, and who gives a shit, honestly? They they got to work on themselves, so. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, so the new person. Like I said, this person really, it feels to me like they really do like the finer things in life. Wine is one of them, okay? I feel like some of you may share this interest with them. They love wine, is what I'm getting here. They like fancy drinks. They like dressing up, going out to eat at the fanciest restaurant in town, okay? They're a little bit materialistic, not in a bad way, but just they do like quote-unquote luxurious things, and they do like to go out to eat, okay? They want to pamper you. Like I said, the attraction is there, okay? They also like to travel. So they're going to want to travel with you. They're going to want to explore new places. So I feel like, you know, these could be things that really help overshadow the differences between the two of you. I'm getting black hair by the way. Black or dark brown hair is what I'm getting for a lot of you. We have Queen of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're looking for long-term commitment, Leo. This person, they're looking for a long-term thing. Okay, Magician. They're hoping that this is this is it for them like they're hoping that you are the one they're hoping this is their true love it's like okay there's differences but they see you still as their true love or they're hoping that is the case Two of Wands. Yeah, they're really going to take you out. They're going to take you out a lot, Leo. They like to go out. They This person likes to live their life. They like to go out. They like to go out to the restaurants. They like to go on trips, okay? They like to go to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Amusement parks, like water parks. I feel like they really like water parks. Um, and they just like driving around. They, they like driving on the freeway. This person is very intense, okay? They can be a little intense sometimes, and 
Leo, us Leos were pretty intense too, so that is why there needs to be an emphasis on healthy communication and understanding where both of you are coming from. Um, again, this is also symbolizing that, right? Communication. Okay, it's so important that you two communicate if you want this to work. Because, like I said, the affection and the um, intimacy is there. Like, it's there. It's off the charts. That part is good. But it's just, you're so different from each other. It's going to be kind of a shock to each other. And it's like, oh, shoot. Like, we like all these different things. How are we, how are we going to make it work? Like, huge differences, and huge differences in upbringing, like I was saying. I feel like they were way more privileged in that regard, and they might have some different views in terms of life, and yeah. Wow. Birthing a new age. Look at this. Look at this. Birthing a new, a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. So we have the magician there. So you guys are honestly manifesting love. You guys are manifesting this. And it's a new age. It's a new season for the both of you. I just got the name Tyler. And I got the name Stephanie. So now just because I don't say a name doesn't mean that this reading uh, is not for you. It's just, I'm just saying what is coming up. So... For some of you, that could be like a sign, right? But back to the reading, Birthing a New Age. This is a new part of your life, Leo. This, it really is. I feel like if you two can look past your differences, the Ten of Cups is there. So you could very well end up getting married to each other. So that is your reading, Leo. I wish you the best of luck. And as always, I wish you love and light. Take care.